Hey everyone, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I wanted to do a video. Um, some of the, I stumbled upon something in the scriptures today, and I don't expect everybody to receive this. Um, I think to receive it, it takes discernment and um, and maybe a little bit of an open mind. But um, throughout the years, I've been able to gather. Um, this understanding, and, and I saw it confirmed in the book of 2nd Baruch today. And if anybody hasn't read 2nd Baruch, I highly recommend reading it. I actually just uploaded an audio book today um, on my YouTube channel just moments ago. Um, it's a very important book for the end of days. Um, but anyway, I'm doing this video because I stumbled upon something, and I just wanted to share it with anyone that may receive or that may be interested. And it's regarding the shortening of days. Now, um, we all know the scripture of um, Jesus in Matthew 24 when he says, uh, For then there will be great tribulation such as not since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. Unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Um, a lot of people stumble upon, uh, wonder what this means. What does it mean that the days will be shortened? Um, well, from my, I don't know if I have, we have the full answers. This can mean multiple things, as the scriptures usually mean multiple fulfillments in one phrase, but, here we go. Um, but from my discernment, um, at least I do see a partial fulfillment happening in our time. Now in Matthew 24, Jesus is talking about the Great Tribulation on just solely the Great Tribulation. But he didn't say these things would be happening gradually in the last days. Um, now I want to show you a clip from a video. And it's not from... It's from a sister, but not from someone who's exactly in Christ. But it's a reporting on an anomaly that I personally have noticed over the a couple years ago, back when I was in Long Island. And when this video came out, I was in complete agreement with it. Because I noticed that time seemed to be going by a lot faster. The clocks are all the same, but it seems the months and the days and the hours are just going by a lot faster. So, uh, let me just play you a clip to show you that I'm just not crazy. This is actually being reported throughout um, our global society as a whole. Greetings, my dears, in love and light. I'm Nikki Sutton. Is time speeding up? Do you feel like time is moving quicker? So, many are feeling like at the moment that time is speeding up, that the day has gone really quickly. I don't know if you've been experiencing this too, but if so, you're not alone. Many are feeling like there's approximately about 16 hours in the day, and yet the clocks still say there's 24. Now, now interestingly enough, um, we actually see this confirmed in the book of Second Baruch. Um, so check out the first verse of chapter 20. And these are the words of the Lord. Therefore, behold, the days will come and the times will hasten more than the former, and the periods will hasten more than those which are gone, and the years will pass away more quickly than the present ones. And I'll, conti I'll highlight this, uh, continue in the next verse. Therefore, I now took away Zion to visit the world in its own time more speedily. So, I found that very interesting. Um, I believe that the days we are living in are shortened, are being shortened. And yes, in the Bible, in Matthew 24, Jesus was talking about the Great Tribulation alone. But here in the sec in the second Baruch, um, it insinuates that times will be shortened throughout the last days as, as a gradual... 
um, progression, if you will. And um, well, we see people reporting in that in the video clip you just saw. Um, these things are being reported. I myself have can testify that I noticed these things more a couple years ago than now. Um, as another witness, a prophetess, a sister in Christ, we have uh, Emily Rose Lewis. I cannot find the clip that she said this, but I remember her saying that the Lord showed her that the Lord made time for our benefit. And I know we can't really conceive of anything like that, but, um, you know, it says in the Psalms, um, you know, your testimonies are my meditation. And, and just putting all these things together, I think we have a piece of the puzzle of what Jesus was really talking about in Matthew 24. And though he was talking about the Great Tribulation, um, as the book of Second Baruch confirms, it seems that there's a gradual shifting of time moving forward um, for our sake, for, for our benefit, because we are in evil times. And the times just get more evil and evil as they go. So out of God's mercy, they seem to be hastening. And um, so I just wanted to show this pattern. I don't know if anybody receives this or if this is just jargon to anybody. I don't know. But um, I hope this was an edification, uh, something to meditate on and something to consider in the shelf of your mind. Okay, thank you for watching. God bless you.